part of it was recognizing my inner monologue, which was really critical and, sh and shitty. Like if I'm totally honest, just really critical and awful. And, um, and then saying, okay, if I consider myself to be a happy person, like, why is this what's running through my head? And then recognizing my conditioning, recognizing the expectations that were on me as an eldest child. And, and even like when I moved out, I didn't just move out. I moved across the country at 17. Like I was like really trying to escape my life and my family followed me. <laughs> so um, I started to see these patterns of like recognizing like what was me, what wasn't me. And the critical voice in my head wasn't me. And then digging into that a little bit further and saying, okay, where did that come from? Why is that happening? Um, I spent five years working with a shaman doing ayahuasca ceremonies. So that kind of blows everything out of the water and you start to really see truth in things. And I could recognize my own motivations of like, do I actually want this thing? Or have I been told that I should want this thing? And I started recognizing how all of my boundaries were getting walked on, but I didn't recognize why. And it was because I wasn't setting them. I was just trying to make everybody else happy because it was easier than saying no 